Todd never complains, right? Right. Right. That's why we always give him a couple of minutes to complain about something. You're quasi-evil. You're semi-evil. You're the margarine of evil. You're the Diet Coke of evil. Just one calorie, not evil enough. Hey, look, he can't always be happy. It's time for Todd's Daily Complaint. I've noticed that a lot of these are about people in cars. I think that's the time when people rage out the most, and I'm like everyone else. I'm just like you people. I rage out when I'm in my car sometimes. I rage because people do stupid things when they're in their cars, including this person. The guy at the stoplight that doesn't pull up far enough to trigger the sensor for the light to turn green. <laughs> Have you ever had to deal with this lowest form of life on earth? <laughs> the worst is when it's in a two lane and you can't like get around them to go trigger the light in the other lane. Or let me rephrase that. Usually it's the 80 or 90 year old person who's at the stoplight that stops so far back that they don't trigger the sensor and the light doesn't turn green. You ever been in that little dance for, I don't know, 10 minutes? <laughs> Trying to honk at the person and tell them, pull up, pull up. Why don't you just go around them? There's not room. It's a two-lane road. Yeah, the, you can find the time to go around without getting there into was, traffic. No, there was no way to get around oh, them. Oh, I Well, let me rephrase that. There was no way for, like I said, 10 minutes to get around them. I wonder why the light's not turning green. Pull up, you idiot. It'll turn green. If you look on the road, you can see where the sensor is. Now, that sensor requires that you drive over it for the light to trigger. Well, you think there's some guy standing watching a camera that turns the light green when you get close? No, there's a sensor. Pull up to it. Now this low form of life is only outdone by the person that pulls completely into the intersection and stops well over the line. <laughs> yeah. And then tries to either A, back up and almost hit you backing up, or B, sits there and looks like an idiot while people have to drive around them. So there's a there's a place you have to be. It's behind the white line. But it's also on the sensor. And it really doesn't take a whole lot of skill to get there. It just takes knowing what you're doing and paying a little bit of attention. That's all we ask, folks. I was late to be somewhere the other day because A, I was already late and I was trying to hurry. And B, because some blue hair didn't pull up to the sensor and the light didn't turn. I had to pull around this lady and then like pull in caddy corner and then made even tougher by the fact that I don't have power steering in my car right now. <laughs> so I had to like Popeye forearm crank my wheel to get around her first of all. <laughs> then I had to crank it the other way to turn in like at a perpendicular uh, angle. That's not good, buddy. Traffic was blocked off from coming the other direction just so I could trigger the sensor so everyone behind me could go. That's no good. Unreal. Yep. People can't figure this out. It's not that hard, folks. Life is not that hard, but yet you all do stupid things sometimes, and it drives me crazy. Me, on the other hand, I got it figured out. Oh, do you? Yeah. <laughs> no, do not you? really. Okay. Not really. But I promise you I'm not that guy. Ever. Yeah. I mean, you got to be... Yeah, you have to be mindful of the sensor. Yes. I saw a guy once pull up too far, right? Then he backed up, the light backed turned green, far. and he was still in reverse, and he hit the gas and just backed right into the car oh, behind him. Oh, no. Yeah. That was bad form there. <laughs>